So second of all, wow. Wow. Okay. This is I don't care moment. I am currently just sitting back in the house because I'm trying to wait for the pieces to dry. I know I'm starting this kind of backwards, but hi. <laughs> I thought I told you guys that we had bought a playhouse for the girls, but obviously I've been putting all this information on Instagram, which is another reason you should be following me on Instagram because you'll know what's going on. So we bought them a playhouse from Kids Craft. Well, we actually bought it from somewhere else, but it's Kids Craft Playhouse. And I'll put a picture here of what it looks like. Currently I plan on doing a makeover. So it's gonna be this whole little shindig about making over. Also, I plan on redoing the girls' playroom. I'm taking out the bed, all kinds of stuff. Even David doesn't even know what I am doing, but I am doing it. So I have some inspiration where I want to go with this playhouse. Um, I love the very farmhouse style. The idea that I was going with I'm not really 100% positive, but I do know that I want the windows to be black to the playhouse. I'm thinking I want to actually take Noelle's crib out of there and put her in the other room. I'm just going to be taking you guys on a journey of yet again something that I am doing. Since we're going to be here for a while, you know, might as well make the best of it. Now, the idea is to put this playhouse in a room. And if you've never seen any of my DIYs, I tend to make my life more difficult than it needs to be. But... I want my kids to be happy and just stay tuned just just watch you know i know i look dusty and busted or whatever also um we are going to ikea when the girls wake up i did their hair and everything like that i'm excited so now i'm about to actually go take out all the stuff to make sure all the pieces there oh hi oh hi what made you decide to get this because i'm black and i'm proud say hello you were just like, hey, I decided that I want to make myself have more work to do. <laughs> and I'm just going to get a house to make so I can make it. Because I always, I knew I wanted them to have a playhouse. It was just a matter of when. Ooh, we are now in the episode of Bring That Bonnet Back. You know, so today is another day. And Aja, I, I know y'all met her a couple times. I think so, right? No. I don't think so. <laughs> have you ever been formally introduced? No, I don't think I have. What? So this is my best friend, Baja. That's me. All the way from high school, you know what I'm saying? I thought y'all was introduced, but I guess not informally. Just been she, passing. She's been ashamed of me the whole time. A little bit. <laughs> Listen, if I'm not ashamed of me, I can't afford to be ashamed of nobody else. Look at my bonnet. You see it? So anyway, so I already painted the windows. It's looking pretty good, as you can see. All right now, we're just continuing doing what I was doing before and then counting all the pieces. So it's kind of like a prologue. So just go ahead and continue to continue listening to music. Okay, so this is the tragedy. But we do have the frame over here. But this is what the inventory is looking like. So we got everything completed. Oh, what will be good though is seeing how the sample looks, the sample paint. Yeah, it'll be funny if it's like the wrong color. Yeah, that's what I'd be like, well, it's not gonna happen today. So I have this color white, which is more like an eggshell, I think. I don't know if y'all can even tell the difference. Can y'all tell the difference? Hell no. Nah. So it don't even this matter. This is called Soji White. Where do you see that? It's on the barcode on the back, right there. Oh, Downy. <laughs> I'm just gonna go for it. Ooh. Yours is like super thick. Like, I just feel like it's coming off thicker. Why? You're supposed to ease it in. No, I did. I only tapped it. I'm gonna take a lot. I even laid it off. Yeah, why mine's look so more solid than yours? You know you better handle it. Is it enough? Do you need more? More? No, this is enough. That's like my whole size. Like, if that's not what you want, it's a lot better. <laughs> <laughs> I got carried away. I, I see that. Whatever. Y'all, I don't even think you can see that. Let me bring it closer. We did the sample pit here. But can you see through this? You see that? 
it's like I don't know like it needs to be sanded <sighs> stuff you know yeah look 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 at this look at this look at this they tripping they is really tripping and I'm really upset because how in the world and even so this has to be replaced because it's not safe for them to touch it they gonna have all kind of splinters how am I supposed to explain this yeah the upper little signing piece that with the little bridge on it yeah all that and what about this too the whole thing has to be it needs to be replaced it looks like there's a screw it's nailed in like they nail it in from here there's like a nail or like a staple oh. thing that's what keeps it together and then they um bruh are you kidding me i guess i'm gonna have to call them because even these like screws is not really in properly so I need to screw this in before this become a bigger issue None of these are. Is it supposed to be like that or something? They send it out like that? That's how it came out the box. <laughs> I don't have no receipt or nothing. I'm gonna go figure out my life. So, this video is actually, or this clip, is actually a while later. As you guys know, the last time I filmed this clip, uh, me and Baja was trying to build and paint the house and figure out the samples and everything like that. But the problem was there was a piece broken. I just asked the company to send me another one and it took literally months, okay? <laughs> and it wasn't the part we asked for. Yeah, exactly. And now this seems like it's the right part, but we don't even know. The box is big. The so box is big. Yeah. We so, have high hopes. Because they already told us if this not right, we have to buy the next one. All right, y'all, so I know it's kind of dark, but I think we came up with a game plan. We figured that we're actually gonna sand. There's just like a lot of ways that I can see them getting splinters and all kind of stuff. You see like this. Yeah, it's like all kinds of stuff. And then Dave's gonna actually glue in this piece because it kind of fell off. So, and then when that part's dry, I'll probably sand that down too. Expected it to become more smooth and stuff like that, but I guess you're paying for quality, I guess. So, I don't know, but we're gonna get to it. Let's see if I remember how to do this. It's been a while. It's a little rusty. <laughs> yeah, have confidence in yourself now. That's the wrong way. Shut up. <laughs> oh, but now. But now that we separated. We can't stand one another. Mm -mm. <laughs> I don't want to be with you, put that on everything I own. Mm -mm. Listen, first of all, you gotta leave him after he said that. <laughs> he put all that passion behind him. He said, I can't believe I stayed around that long. Never see you again. I won't be mad. Well. This is a lot faster now. All right. So after some time, we finally got some progression when it comes to painting. I'm not 100% happy with the paint choice, but. Somehow I kind of got talked into doing something that I'm not really sure yet, but the house has been sanded and blow dried and stuff like that. We had ended up getting a paint sprayer. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull out the paint sprayer, try to figure out how to get that assembled. It is ridiculous that this has been, how many months now? Five? So this is the paint sprayer that we decided to get. This is so weird, cause you would think that other part be a sprayer, but I guess this part is a sprayer. 
All right, y'all, so we are actually in the back of our house. The thing is, is that we need ventilation for the sprayer. So we decided to go ahead and paint it out in our backyard. David is going to go ahead and get the tools to take off this door because the door is going to be a different color. So I finally finished the first coat. It's almost an hour later and I finished the rest. So it took me an hour and a half to do one coat and that's just outside. Now it does cut down time, but this particular sprayer that we got here, it's really made for stain, not for like paint. So I think that's what's taking slightly longer, but still works. This is the first coat, and the baby's at home. Say hi, baby. Hi. Oh, Ellie, Ellie. Hey. Hey. Turning that spread because it took like two, three hours for me to do that. So, as you can see in the clip, I have a new sprayer. The last one that we were using was actually a stainer and not a paint sprayer. So, I think that has a big, a big impact. Now, I am about to get ready and go ahead and use this actual paint sprayer. It says that I'm supposed to uh, strain it. We gon' see. <laughs> So today is a new day and it is a different level in our situation when it comes to this dollhouse. So far we did a couple of things. We have officially moved Noel out of this room. If it's been a minute, I don't know how this video is going to go, but the house, dollhouse that we've been like working on for like darn near a year is going inside of this room. Now the room, let me warn you, it's a hot mess. Like I said, it is a mess in here. But the house is going right there. So I need to move this in this corner. We are going to just basically scooch everything out of the way so that we can put the house here. And then we'll deal with actually cleaning and organizing as the girls are up. The girls are up for right now. So I got to kind of get this thing going. Um, I think it's fine. It's just hard to completely see the vision because we got a bed like right, right there. <laughs> And then we got one blind and then it's trashy in here. Then it's like, we don't need this no more. And then we're confused about this. And then we definitely don't need this rocking chair no more. It's just a lot going on in here. But the point was to get it in this room. So it's in here. I guess I'll just come back when they are walking in the room just to see what it's like to just have something in here different. What you doing? What, you in the house? You can just step out. Yeah. 
Hi. It's like the next day and I'm back in the garage. Let me show you what I did so far. So I ended up painting this door black. So the spray paint, I believe I showed you guys, it was the flat black spray paint and I really love how this looks. Let me see if I still have an empty can of it. Which is this. This is what I used on there. And I really love this. Um, but I sent David to Lowe's yesterday. And he ended up saying that he bought a different paint. I don't know what he bought. So let's pray for him, child. Because I don't know. <laughs> I feel like this is not going to be the same. Ugh the stress I go through. Where does it say paint and primer? Where? Ugh. My stress levels. Hold on. I just needed a minute because he told me that it was the same and it's not the same. And I stressed out because sending a guy to get the same thing. He literally took this with him. Literally took this with him. I asked him was what he got with paint and primer. This does not say anything about paint and primer. This don't even look nowhere near the same. I'm about to go to the store and, and use this car. I'm so annoyed. I'm so annoyed. I don't even know what this is made for. Because it says stop with Pro flat protective and then let me go. All right, so this is kind of like a midway checkpoint because at this point, this is half a year and we are still doing this dollhouse. We've been doing it ever since I think Noel was one. It's been a whole lot of hoopla, but as you can see, the house is actually in the room. I just gotta finish putting it together. There's a couple things that I wasn't aware of. When I was still starting to put this portion on up here, like this little lip ledge, these holes in here, in the bottom part where it told me to screw it in, there's not even like holes there. You have to make your own holes. That just, I don't know. It just threw me off. But anyway, we are gonna get this house done because at this rate, the girl's not going to be even interested in the house anymore. But I need to do something. I need to put house. I need kitchen. I need to make this room more entertaining for them. Because, again, this is going to be a playroom and not, like, hangout sit area. I am still very curious on what we're going to be doing with this bed. I know we really want to give it to... Nala, but I don't want to get rid of the king queen bed either. So I don't know. I, I don't really know. I might just end up putting it in her room anyway, just to get it out of our, this room. But then once we get rid of this, we don't have nowhere to sit. So eventually I'll be looking into some kind of bean bag or something like that to put in here because this, this isn't that. The big thing is just to get house done. So at this point, it's time to do the door and all that stuff. All right, y'all. So, I got everything in the room. But there's one thing I wanted to show y'all. One thing I was kind of confused about is... If you look at the door frame... I don't know if it's picking up on the camera, but it actually has a sheen on it. I don't know, can you tell? It's like a sheen. Like, what I spray painted it with was flat black. But it's like a... Like, you see the light? With flat, it usually doesn't have any kind of reflective or anything like that. But for whatever reason, it has a sheen on it. It's not enough for me to, like, get mad at it or anything like that. But I was just actually surprised it did have a sheen on it. I don't know what's up with that. I spray painted this gold with the antique gold. And David just put batteries in it. And this is what it sounds like. That's what we about to be hearing all day long. And then Nala ain't gonna want no well to press it. Mm -hmm. We just stuck it right here to see what it looked like. And that's what it's looking like. And I also painted the door handle 
which I think is on this side or this side. I don't know. Man, this thing requires a lot of energy. Now, because there's no pre-existing hole here, we gotta use measuring tapes where to place stuff at. Who knew? I'm just letting them see the door. Oh Lord. She discovered it. <laughs> Yay, you pressed the doorbell. <laughs> Luckily that don't go past that part because you would definitely beat her up. Yay. She's so aggressive, ain't she? Now nah, a little wait until she go out the door. Well, at least they like that part. We'll be hearing that all day. All right, I had to fix some things. But up until this point, I don't think I told you guys how frustrating this little set is. Yes, I do think the work is worth it, but it is so frustrating. I feel like they don't do a great job in the manual expressing all the tools you're gonna need to complete this. Now, not everyone's gonna be like us that automatically have a lot of these tools and pieces and ways around it and equipment. If you ever get any of the kid crafts, be prepared because I watched some videos, no videos where they talked about some of the equipment or the fact that a lot of these holes doesn't have pre-existing pre holes. So you don't really know if it's supposed to be there. It's just a, a lot. Now, the reasons for not putting pre-existing holes, I guess, makes sense. But still, I just feel like you could have warned people. So you need like all kind of little drill bits at all times. It's not nothing that you can't probably get out of a kit. Like for instance, who knew that you needed the little square it's not showing i think i showed it at some point sorry but who knew you need the square drill bit not everyone has that so y'all i just wanted to come in and talk to you guys for a bit because quite frankly i am tired of hearing the music <laughs> at this point as you can see i'm on the struggle bus of putting this together okay and i would highly suggest if you want a playhouse like this to get help i was on a struggle bus i am a little bit too determined and too impatient to wait on someone to help me so obviously you see me do this by myself it's definitely possible but if you have reached at this point in this video i really 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 do appreciate you guys watching this this is a different type of video for me in future videos i will be doing a lot more diy so i thought why not just show you guys how much goes into doing these projects i definitely do think youtubers have a good habit of making everything seem very straightforward simple and easy and that's just not the case a lot of times it's a lot more than you bargain for but i do definitely Definitely think it is worth it but without further ado here is the finished results about to leave already packing come with me i'm not really asking we'll get away to a place where we don't know about to see the world in action Life with no distractions, we'll get away, this is what we waited for.